Dr. Gardner here, gonna bring you an interesting case. We have a patient, he was fishing with his sons uh, in Florida, and they were fishing from the shore, and he was in the water at some point, somehow developed a break in his skin, and he developed, unfortunately, a bad infection in one of his legs, ended up in the emergency room, was admitted to the hospital. Um, we, he showed us pictures, it was terrible. In fact, they thought at one point he might lose his leg. They were able to fight the infection, get it under control, but unfortunately, during this whole process, he developed lymphatic damage. So now he has a chronically swollen leg. Uh, both of his legs are swollen, but one is significantly more swollen than the other. So we started him off, we did our routine ultrasound physical exam, and we found that he has significant superficial venous insufficiency or venous reflux disease. So, our goal is to get him ambulating uh, much better. Now he walks, but it's with a four-prong walker. Um, he's not able to go very far. Um, so what we did is, John was able to get involved. Uh, he was able to significantly reduce the swelling in his legs. Once we got to that point, we were then able to treat his underlying venous disease. His legs are significantly better. Now, he's never going to be 100% because he has significant lymphatic damage from this infection caused by uh, being in the water in Florida. Uh, now, don't panic. I'm not saying don't go get in the water in Florida, but these things can happen. It was kind of a freak thing. Anyway, regardless, he has significant lymphatic damage. He is in chronic, or he's going to have chronic swelling for the rest of his life. We have significantly improved his quality of life by treating the underlying venous insufficiency and treating the chronic edema in his legs using a series of compression devices. Now, he has a wonderful caregiver that's been helping him through this process, and um, unfortunately not everybody has that, uh, but he does, and so this person has been trained, as well as the patient, how to doff and don, uh, or put on and take off his compression garments. Um, but again, you're going to see the before and afters. He has improved significantly. He is very active and mobile now compared to when we first met him. So again, that's our goal. Get him back to where he is functional and enjoying life instead of being quasi bed bound and just a prisoner to the chronic swelling. So anyway, um, if we can help, let us know. Uh, vein and lymphatics, that's what we do here at the Vein Institute. Uh, we do it every day, and uh, if you have questions, just let us know. Thanks a lot.